What's up guys? How's it going? So first off I want to thank all my new subscribers that came over from uh, Jim's video of the Boker Quaken that I did. Welcome um, and thanks Jim for doing the video. That was a very uh, well done video. Uh, it's better done than mine are. <laughs> but that's why you have a lot of subscribers because you do great videos. So thanks for that. Thanks guys for coming over. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Bauer Blade Works. Uh, I like to <clears throat> post pictures as projects um, progress. So you can follow that as well if you like. Uh, this video is going to be on Benchmade Battle Songs. Uh, I pimped one for myself. Uh, Friday was my birthday and I wanted to do something for myself. Seeing how you get to this age, you don't really get gifts anymore. Or at least I don't. <laughs> Um, so I kind of wanted to do something for myself, so I, I squeezed that in along with doing uh, other customers' jobs. Uh, I've got several knives here that are halfway to three-quarters of the way done. And I squeezed this one in the other day. I've been playing with it ever since and love it. So uh, I'm just going to quickly go through my um, Benchmade collection here a little bit, just to give you a little bit of idea of why I did what I did, a little bit of, um, a little bit of information. So that can sometimes be boring, so I do apologize, but um, I just want to give some context. I just don't want to just show the knife. So uh, the first one I got is a Benchmade uh, 62. This was the uh, one that followed the 42. It's constructed a little bit different. It's milled uh, stainless steel sandwich construction, uh, which a lot of people like the titanium. The 42 is very well sought after. Uh, because of how light it is and that the fact that it's titanium. I actually personally like the weight of the stainless models myself. So I don't really have a lot to complain about. Plus it, the handle's a little bit shorter. Um, that was another complaint from some people. Um, I actually have smaller hands so I like the shorter. The shorter. So um, really not a complaint there. My only complaint is that it's still a T-latch. No spring in there which does kind of suck. But overall uh, it's a great knife. I uh, really like it. Added it to my collection not that long ago. Great knife. So that one, there really isn't much to do with it. You know, there's what am I going to do with it? Not much. The next one is a Pacific Cutlery Corp. 68. I think it's a 68. <clears throat> Stainless steel construction. It has the utility blade on there. T-latch. Uh, I really like the shorter knives, the 3-inch knives. And my only complaint about this one is, although it does have the T-latch, there is no uh, stop here, so your blade can not hit, and sometimes it'll even get caught on the side when you're flipping it. This is kind of annoying. So, <clears throat> to me, this isn't the perfect 3-inch knife, um, mainly because of that. And if anybody from Benchmade is watching, which I highly doubt that they are, but if they are, <clears throat> I really wish you would take this... Um, construction this new updated design and make a three inch version that's a hole in your line you don't have it <clears throat> um, there are a lot of us that really like the three inch size and you guys made them for years years so obviously there's a market for it um, and just pretty much take this scale knock some size out of it drop it down Keep the Zen pins. Uh, you've done a lot of great updates with this, other than a couple things that people don't like, but I, it doesn't personally bother me. I'd love to see a 3-inch version um, of the 62. So when that comes out, if it ever does, I'm buying like five of them. Anyhow, then I have the <coughs> Benchmade uh, 51. The 51 is one of their new styles. Well, I wouldn't say new, but newer. Um, Morpho is what they call it. It has titanium anodized jeweled liners, G10 scales. Uh, it still has the spring latch on there, which is good. I really do like the blade shape. Uh, I, I definitely like it better than that one. So it's got a um, lightly stonewashed D2 blade. Uh, nice knife. It's lighter easy to flip. Uh, a couple things I don't like. Uh, I don't like the pocket clip. Um, just kind of gets in the way for me. 
the scales on here, because of these cutouts, I mean, obviously done for aesthetic reasons, they kind of give you a funky feel in your hand. They don't really give you a, a very flat surface for uh, rotating the knife. Uh, I don't know, minor complaint, but uh, it just kind of annoys me. And the jeweling and everything, it's just a little bit, I don't know. I mean, it's nice and fancy, but maybe a little bit too fancy. So, obviously, I have uh, a large and a small and stainless. And I have a large morpho. And I also have a small morpho. So the small morpho is probably one of my favorite knives uh, because, again, uh, of its size. And this one here, I don't really like to flip a lot because it is more of a collector's item. You know, it is an 80s knife. Also, the T-latch will hit the blade, so I don't want to screw up the blade. So I can't really use this one as much as possible. So the other small option that I have is the 32 Morpho. So I've been eyeballing this thing, trying to figure out what I can do to it to make it different. And lately I've been doing a lot of stuff with Micarta. So I figured, ah, what the hell, why not? Why not make this a, like, vintage, distressed, Micarta, anodized knife? So this thing started off with a black blade. And this is kind of interesting because the black blade had some wear on it. I'm not a fan of black blades because obviously they get wearing and it can look like ass after a while. So, I first tried to stone wash it, kind of like, uh, what is it, ZT Zero Tol Tolerance is doing their black wash, which is kind of a copy of what us pimpers have been doing, acid wash. And they just said, oh, they just take their DLC coating or whatever the hell it is and stone wash it. So that's what I tried at first. And I'll tell you what, this Benchmade coating does not want to come off. It's it, it will scratch up, but it does... It takes a lot of abuse to try and get a stone wash. So what I did was, is I lightly bead blasted it first. So, lightly bead blasted, and I don't know if this is going to focus, and I don't have a manual focus on this camera. Come on. There we go. So I lightly bead blasted it, and then I stone washed it. So it still has a little bit of that black coating on there protecting the blade, but it's scratched up. It turned out great. Uh, I, I don't know if I can do that on other blades depending on what the coating's made out of, but that's a really cool alternative to uh, acid wash. So it's not been in acid at all. Um, and I think this is actually better. I'm wondering if I'm going to start buying black blades just so I can do this to it turned out great so and then I did green micarta kind of been a fan of this lately it feels really good in the hand I kind of um, vintage all of the areas wear them so that they get darker uh, kind of softer so that it feels soft in your hand kind of like an old wore out pair of jeans is kind of what I've been comparing it to and then I went through and uh, heat anodized, heat anodized all of the steel, the hardware, the backspacer, and then I ground the liners down to, or the, the scales down to the liners, got rid of the, um, the water jet marks, bead blasted the liners, and then anodized them uh, a bronze, a matching, at least as close to matching as I can get bronze. So everything that's steel on here or titanium is now bronze. Oh, well, other than the blade. So the blade's got that, oh, shit, Oops, sorry. It's got that black coating that has been bead blasted and then stone washed with the green micarta that's been wore out aged and then bronzed this thing is freaking cool so I debated on whether putting holes in here um, you know kind of like kind of like this but this is actually really hard to mill out and to get them straight you know I would need to run a CNC to do that 
and to me it was just kind of gaudy plus the feeling was not what I was hoping for you know on this this the flat spots on here make it really easy to grab to turn to manipulate uh, feels nice and flat in your hand as a knife should uh, it flips way better the micarta is just a little bit thicker so it's added some weight and I know the sound cuts off sometimes, so like I said, it adds a little bit of weight. Feels great in the hand. Got rid of that stupid ass pocket clip. Turned out awesome. So this was kind of my birthday present to myself. <laughs> Pimping one of my own knives. And this was extremely tedious, because you've got four scales, really thin, um, it was definitely a pain in the ass. So I know some of you guys might be drooling, want to send me your knife. Um, I can pimp them, but it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be more than what I normally charge because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, I actually want to get another uh, 32 Morpho. Uh, if anybody's got one for sale for a reasonable price, Reasonable, you know, I only paid like 110 or 150 bucks for this one, so I don't, I don't want to pay any more than that. I would consider buying another one because the next one I want to do, I want to do one that's a little bit fancier. I want to do uh, lightning strike carbon fiber scales with no holes, um, polish some of the hardware, anodize the liners, maybe a, a nicer, deeper blue or a green or something. So that's going to be my next for myself project. I'm not going to mess with this one too much uh, as this is a bigger knife and I don't use it as much. Someday I may sell it, you know, I don't know. So I think I'm just going to leave this one as is. But so guys, I hope you like the uh, the pimp job, the ramble, the video. I love this thing. I can't I I I haven't put it down since I got it put together. I haven't put an edge on it yet. I uh, haven't decided how sharp I want to go, as it is a flipper, you know, how much blood do I want to draw? <laughs> how sharp do I want to make the knife? Uh, probably definitely put it on the wicked edge and probably put like a 600 grit or 800 grit edge on it. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I'll have some other videos coming up this week. I've got a couple of Emersons that are going to be done. Uh, I'm going to try and pump out as much as I can because I'm getting a lot of job requests, so I need to get rid of you know get everything done as I can lead time you know normally was two to three weeks now is more like five to six seven weeks just because I'm getting so many orders so please be patient with me uh, it's not months yet um, but you know within a month or two so hope that's okay it's the best I can do working three jobs here is, is uh, um, tough so thanks again and I'll talk to you guys later